as you guys played the first two games, you guys really started getting some turnovers in, in that last game. Was, it, was that really kind of the, the last thing that you guys wanted to kind of finally add to, to, your, to your game is in addition to getting three and outs, you're finally getting some turnovers now? Yeah, I mean, three and outs feel good, but nothing like a turnover. That's, that's kind of our motto. That's what we pride ourselves on defense, getting turnovers. So after San Jose State, you know, we felt good getting a shutout, and it always feels good getting a win, but getting turnovers is really what we uh, were harping on the sideline all game. And we didn't get that done, so that kind of was the one thing in that game, which it's hard to be disappointed after a shutout, but that was the one thing after the game where we were just like, I wish we could have got more turnovers because we just had that one from Dion. so definitely. How much do you credit the defensive pressure to? Because it seems like a lot of times the quarterback's kind of flinging it up, and then it's really an easy play for, for the corners and the safeties back there. Yeah, I mean, uh, D-line and DBs kind of help each other out. Uh, they've helped us out. They've uh, kept great coverage will keep the quarterback holding on to the ball and that'll open stuff up for us to get sacks and sometimes if we get hits on the quarterback or disrupt him uh, it'll affect uh, the throw and sometimes it'll help them so it kind of goes hand in hand we both just help each other out. We're playing a, this week a, a true freshman who's really supposed to be a high school senior at this point is, is the pressure really important to, to get to JT Dean a little and kind of force him to make plays he's not comfortable making? Yeah I mean it's no different with any other quarterback but definitely uh, one that's uh, fresh, true freshman, uh, definitely need to get some pressure, get in his face, and that's our goal. That's our goal every week, but uh, nothing really changes. We're just uh, really excited for the opportunity. Nick, coming from Southern California, as a lot of you guys do, does this game take on an extra meaning going against USC, and is it almost as big as the Apple Cup to a lot of you guys? It's exciting. Um, you know, you just can't build it up to be anything more than what it is. It's it's just another football game. It's start of Pac-12 play, which is the most important part about it. And uh, you know, it's exciting because we get to play in front of our family and in front of our friends down south. And uh, we come from down there, and we grew up watching teams down there. And so it's it's cool, but you can't get caught up in that because you know that's just a distraction. So, but it's definitely it's definitely exciting, and we're we're really excited for the opportunity. Did you grow up a USC fan? I did not. No. <laughs> so. Is there a little extra juice around the team now, now that it is conference play and these games count toward winning a Pac-12 title? 100%. Um, we've been building up towards conference play, and each game uh, has been kind of a just uh, another stepping stone to get towards it. And now that it's finally here, we're ready to go. And short week, and we're going to practice today, and we're excited to start getting after it. I, I woke up this morning ready. <laughs> How does that short week kind of tweak uh, preparation? I mean, you guys have done it in the past, but I mean, just to give us a little insight. Yeah, it's different. Um, we kind of got to take it upon ourselves to get more film study in. Uh, like I've been watching a lot of film today after class and stuff, and uh, usually we have this whole entire day and tonight to kind of take care of your body. Uh, you get a lot of rest. Um, you know, right now we're coming off a game, and we got to jump right in our pads and get right back after it. So it's just. It's a different preparation, uh, and and it's all coaches too. They have to, uh, they got a game plan all day, and then we got to try to put it in tonight. And so it, everything's just really rushed. But I mean, it, it didn't stop us last year, and we're excited for the opportunity. You, you change anything about how you handle a short week after the, the Cal experience last year, Did, or do you think that that was more just due to in-game execution and things that didn't happen that night? Yeah, I mean we. Uh, kind of just forgot about that after it happened and we're uh, I mean it's a new staff on defense we're uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what we're gonna do differently this week and it'll be interesting I'm, I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna do everything this week to prepare compared with last year do you have a lot of family and friends coming to the game this weekend? yeah too many to uh, get tickets for <laughs> do, do, Wait, you, do you have a, a head count of how many you're trying to get into the game yeah I have a general idea and I don't even know it's 10 plus and then you got other that's just like family alone and then you got friends and it's, it's are impossible you to, are you trying to talk to like the Washington based players yeah, to try and get their tickets or? it's just tough because guys